Welcome to the FX Masterclass, and my name is Ernest Rowe. And today's topic is on Impact M3, full disassembly. Let's jump into it. All right, safety is first, guys, so we need to degas the gun. By doing so, take about half a turn. Well, that's all you can do, right? Half a turn until you hear a little bleed. I lost count, about five or six, I go. If it's a short hiss, the plenum is still pressurized, so we need to degas that also. All right, on the M3, you need to kind of press on the trigger a little bit to have a little more access to the two and a half adjustment screw down here. See it? Only needs a little bit to hear noise. Let it bleed out. While it's doing that, we could unscrew the bottle. It's, it's not gonna launch it hazardous or anything. It's just make a loud noise like this. Hiss. All right. While it's still bleeding, we could remove the top portion. The cheek rest. Scope rail. Now we're gonna slide out the barrel. Now since the M3 has a tighter barrel system, you need to really give it a really straight pull. All right. Now we're going to remove this valve adjuster. Just unscrew it. Take out the spring. Take out the body of the valve adjuster off. Now we're gonna move the top rail off. Now we slowly lift up the top rail, side to side, because we wanna lose all the screws. Yeah, four barrel mount. All right, it's a little different on an M3. You can't really slide out the whole cocking assembly off the rear end. You need to loosen the rear barrel support. As soon as that loose, it's loose. You lift it up and slide it back. Clears the probe from the rear block. You can lift the whole assembly. All right. Now, there's two ways of doing this, but you can't unscrew the plenum out already. You gotta be careful at the end. As soon as it's loose, kind of wiggle side to side a little bit. Like this. All 
All right, you could push the valve just the valve hole valve up a little bit, so you see one. Meanwhile, let's remove this the plenum of the rear block and the valve adjuster. I mean, if you have a secondary red gauge here, this end is going to be plugged. All right, then we go remove the two, the four sets, copper head. And be careful when you separate, there's a little spring here might pop out, get lost. All right, to get the plenum off, you need to loosen this set screw here for the valve housing. Now, slowly twist left and right. Yeah, rear block and a valve here. Usually you don't remove this block, the valve housing unless Set screws loose. Hold on, man. We'll remove it. <laughs> Set screw in here. No, oh, it was already loose. I thought. When you get it loose, just push it out. Put your finger here, it might fly it out on you. Slowly. There's your valve housing, four O rings. All right. Now we're going to remove the whole long rod, your valve assembly. Uh, now we're going to remove the C1. We're going to need a vice grip. It's modified, it's half moon, so it doesn't gouge up the rod. When you tighten the vice grip, make sure the little hole on the C1 is facing up. So we could use our other tool to line up the hole with the other. Back it out. Just hand tight. Look at this. If the C1 whole rod spin, you need to tighten a vice grip a little tighter. There you go. Run our thread, yank it out. Keep C1 in the tool for reassembly later. Yeah, now we're going to slide out the rod rear. All right, that's your long valve rod. Now we're going to remove the front portion of the plenum. All of these is one turn. You just twist left and right while you're pulling. There you go. Now, if you have a red gauge on the side here, we'll remove that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that size? There's two screws that's holding this gauge assembly on. You don't need don't don't really need to remove this unless it's a leak. Because on the other side is an O-ring here. All right. And there's a quad ring on his gauge here, same ones on this gauge. Don't really need to remove it. Let me show you how to remove it. All right, now we're gonna remove the regulator. It requires some torque to get this off. We're gonna need a special well, bushing, so the, the big socket here doesn't rub against it and gouge up your action, because you're gonna apply some torque on there and it might slip and gouge up your action. So we're gonna use that. And you'll need a, 
a wooden vise, so it has a rubber jaw on it. And we have one here, we're gonna use that. Uh, here's our handy dandy uh, table vise here, or rubber jaw. You gonna take your bipod off, whatever, if you were using it. Now you want to clamp the rubber here and up to here. Just like that. It's better to use a deep, deep socket because this kind of long it wants to push your uh, your wrench here. So you want to get full contact, just like that. And you want to turn it counterclockwise. And when you apply and torque, I keep this straight and apply pressure and it'll break loose. That's all you need. All right, then I screw by hand. Now be careful when it unscrews, keep in this position. We'll take it apart. All right, get this out of the way. Let's disassemble the regulator. First thing, this O-ring is kind of half coming off. Just go ahead and take it off, put it to the side. Now, you need to, need to remove this little retainer here. You need a flathead, unscrew it counterclockwise. They're not usually on there very tight, all right. And here's your rig adjustment screw. Okay, well. Now you want to remove it, unscrew it. You need to grab it and turn. That's your regular adjustment screw. Now you got the pistons in the piston inside. You can use your ball end, make sure it's not sharp, make sure it's clean. We're gonna push the piston assembly gently. You'll see it come out. Now be careful not to uh, keep all the washers together. Make sure it's not in there. And it's best to have a snapshot of the stack. When you reassemble it, it'd be a lot quicker, all right, to reassemble it. Now, kind of wiggle the piston from this brass retainer. And be careful, it won't fly out. That's the retainer. And here's all your stack. Regulator piston. Just in case you need to rebuild it, change O-ring here, change the piston clean everything up for maintenance. All right, and that's the only thing you really need to take apart on a regulator. Don't need to take this O-ring out unless you had a leak there or this uh, dowdy seal. All right, now pull it out. We're gonna slide out. There's your hammer. Usually it come in like this. All right, now we're going to remove trigger guard. Oops. So we need to uh, remove the second regulator. You take this uh, plate off.
Here's the plate. To access the little pin here. They're not really on there, but you can use your needle nose. See, it's halfway coming out. You can pull a trigger a little bit side to side. And you can pull a pin out. Then a whole lower trigger assembly will come out. Now you have access to the reg adjustment screw. All right, sometime it's so in there, you need a little tweezer to get it out, your long nails, like that. Now, hold on a minute. Unscrew the body. Rec body. All right. right there. There's sometimes a washer in here. The lever washer is stuck, but keep an eye on him. Eye on him. Now we're going to remove the rig piston. Rig. Kind of separate, make sure we get them mixed up. <laughs> Here you go. M3 fully disassembled. All right. If you got any uh, question, remarks, wish lists, Leave it uh, down below, and we'll catch you next video in reassembling the M3. Later.